Hi everyone, welcome back to more Infernium. Today it's tr to do this trial, uh, or this ritual. Uh. Alright. I'm dreading this. So there's some footprints here in the sand that tell you where the safe path is to walk. But once you start the ritual, that's it. You're going to have guys chasing you. So let's follow us around. Okay. Usually there's... Okay, there's not one right here, so that's a three. That's... Back that way, right? No. <gasps> oh my god. Okay. I'm trying to think of where the bowls are that correspond to these. I think this one is for this one over here. And the other fire thing and that one are together. I think. Okay. Oh, you gotta be joking. I literally just charged this too, so I don't know why it's low. But here you have this. This turns on the rain. And it doesn't stay that way either. And it becomes so hard to see. Okay. We need to figure out what the numbers are first. Now there's one right there. A six and a seven. Okay. A six and a seven. I need to write that down because I'm about to be overwhelmed. Okay. A six. And a six. Oh my god, I'm already getting confused. Because I'm going to have so many enemies chasing me. Yes, a six and a seven, okay. See, and it don't last very long either. That's a three. So let's do a six there first and a seven on the other. Ooh, almost forgot. Okay. You might be able to sneak up to it without activating him. I'm going to try that. Okay. 
Uh, come on, just a little closer. Ooh, that scared me. Okay, three, four, five, six. <laughs> oh, the sound startled me. Okay, let's see if that works. Well, <laughs> okay, that did not work. Um, okay, so that one is not for this one. Let's wait, wait for the rain to stop. <laughs> Unless I just messed up badly. Okay. So that one is for that one over there, so it's this one over there. Okay. There's one right here in front of me. They're so freaking hard to see until he... He is practically on it. Yeah. Alright, let's go for a walk. Where is he? Where did you go? There you are. Okay. Four, five, six. Okay. So, oh God, I'm stressed. The other one is off over here. Ooh, okay, there's one up there, right in front of me. There's one up here, too. I can't freaking... Zero. Zero. Okay. Okay, let's just activate you. And then let's go for a walk. Shit. And you know what I did not do is reactivate the rain. What was that? I don't know why the screen went black there for a minute. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just try it. Please let it work. Oh, perfect. Oh. Oh, damn. First try. Ooh, okay. Damn, that was actually not that bad. Ooh, okay. Alright. Wanted to double check the audio and make sure everything was good. Uh, just in case I had to like redo that whole little section. Okay. Let's see. And so we came up here, we went over there, we got um, the long dash. So now we can make it over here. Which we couldn't before because we had the short dash. But now we got the long dash, which is much longer. It's like double the length. Yeah, I see you, little gray. Right there. Yeah, if you hit tele jump to anywhere on that, you'd be gone. Your only choice is to go right past him. And there's the elevator to go down. I do know you can't make it out this way. Not yet. You need three harvest fingers. But I do want to show y'all. Because I don't know if I'll actually be back through this path. So nice to have the long dash again. It's just for me, I always end up getting the long dash so early in the game. That I get used to having it. So the short dash is difficult for me. planes and then the next area is the lava that's where this place takes us is the lava river and that's so cool that's very cool looking little scene With the cherry blossom trees and the magma. But we can't get there because we need three fingers, which we do not have. So now we need to go back and do the ritual in the castle with the green area. And then we need to go back to the waterfall area to get the other finger. And then we can proceed. It's so cool. You can't actually walk over there. Might be able to teleport, but it might result in your death. Hmm. 
You know what just occurred to me? Why I think I like this game? Is it, it's kind of like the back rooms. Is exactly what this is kind of like. Of course, when I first played this game, I knew nothing of the back rooms or what it was. I don't even know if the back rooms was around then, but it just now occurred to me this is a lot like the back rooms. And I think that's because I was watching a gamer. Um. Oh, the Grey Cloak is back there. Okay. Um, I was watching him dissect the game and go out of bounds. Uh, with a bunch of the backroom games. I think that's why it just sadly occurred to me. Yeah, I love the backrooms. So fascinating. And I would love to play the game, too. There's more than one. But those are really multiplayer games. I mean, you could do it by yourself, but I think it'd be funner with some other people. From here, I always go out right and then straight. Because there is a guy that's just literally straight ahead. See, and I really like this view with the planes. Whoops. Went and smacked the microphone. It's just such a beautiful shot, and I love the red flowers. And there's blue flowers, too, that are around. It's just so cool looking. See, and that, that's cool, too. Oh, you have this. That's also a cool view. Okay. Ooh. Well, the hardest ritual is done now. I mean, really, the hardest one is at the very end when you're at in heaven. I think it's the heaven arena. That one is the most difficult, but you, there's two different ways you can cheese that one. So it's really not that difficult. This up there with planes, that is the most difficult. Besides the last one. So. So we should be good and set from here on out. Alright. Okay, there's cloaks about. Seven. Seven, seven. Okay. Alright, this one comes through walls. <laughs> In case you weren't prepared for that. Four. This one's not too bad. Yeah, it can go through walls, but... Just loop it in a circle. Ten. Okay. Just go in a counterclockwise motion. Be sure to keep them right behind you. Don't get too much distance between you. Okay. Ten and four. Ten and four. So ten is on the other side. So 
zero, one, two. Okay. Okay, that's two. Good, good. Just keep them close. See, and this one was four. That was a bit risky. Yep. Right behind me. At least they're both sevens. Okay. I do not remember what this one was at. Crap. Okay, let's just do one. Don't want to overshoot it. Three. Really? Okay. If I remember a three. It's a three. Seven, perfect. Get your little screenshot. I do like the look of the purple ghost. That is just so cool. How they are glowing. So we'll go through one more walk around and then we'll have it. And the most difficult part of this ritual is trying to find that center ball. While at the same time getting enough distance from this guy. Seven, seven, seven. Okay, so one more, I believe, and then we'll be good. Seven. Perfect. Right freaking here. Ooh. Perfect. Perfect. We have got the second harvest finger. And as you notice, it's on our finger. We now got two little T-shapes. And now we can get an up close selfie. Perfect. Oh, that's even better. So cool. It's such a good design. You know, because you could have something under the cloak, but the developer didn't do that. I said it's just an invisible enemy. Alright, you can go down there, but it just loops you in a circle. And shoots you out someplace else. And we really don't need that right now. Let's 
So now we can go back. See, now we don't even have to get close to that enemy over there. We can just jump right over. Perfect. Let's save while we were over here. You know what? I might as well do this while I'm over here. Get some lives back real quick. Now we got 23 lives. Right here. Flex some more. Over here, chill out, chill, chill. Okay, now we can sneak into his room. And get all this pretty little light. Perfect. Two of those are glitched out for some strange reason. But we do have all 25 lives back. Okay. So now we got full 25 lives. And almost two full harvest fingers. I'm just going to leave the rest just in case. You know, it's always a good idea to leave some. You know, there's there is plenty of light, you know, really on the map. So it's really not that troublesome. Um, I'm going to open this. It doesn't do anything but loop around. And it loops right over there. So there's more of the story, more light. So as you can see, this is a, a full harvest finger. That might even be 1.5 harvest fingers. So as you can see, there's plenty of light you can get to. You just don't want to open up that triangle. Because if you ever have to go back into that room and you activate the cloaks, they can then use that passage to get around to you. So it's not really wise. Perfect. So 
to a small one. This ain't a small one. No, I don't want to leave that one. And I honestly don't remember which elevator to take. But that, that's fine. We just need to go back. That was the wrong one. Now we need to go to the waterfall area. You know what's funny is I played this game twice on normal mode and then one time I tried on hard but I just could not I couldn't do it but each time I end up playing on my living room TV this is the first time I'm actually doing it with headphones and you can hear so much more creepy sounds with headphones versus TV speakers Because <laughs> I'm noticing a lot more stuff than what I did the other times I played this. Was there a shortcut I needed to open up over here? Let's just light. Okay. All right, so to get down out of here, go right here. Now we're back at the beginning. See, and I like this view too. This is such a good view. All right, now we got the triangle so we can open this. There we go. I was about to say, don't you dare freeze on me. There's the lone cloak. Then there's the stairway to heaven. You get a better look at it from this angle. Oops. And now that you have the long dash, you can get up here. Come on. My joystick is not wanting to work with me. There we go. You have some stairs that'll take you down into the labyrinth that's underneath here. Okay. Damn, so close, so close. That's such a shame. Yay, now we can get this thing. Because we've got two harvest fingers. <laughs> it's 
see now we have you hear it boom 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 yep it's your heartbeat it is letting you know there's a cloak around it does not always work though it is a little glitchy but for the most part it does work Come on. And now we need to get back up there. I do want to leave all this light around here because we needed to go up the staircase. And I honestly don't need any for lives, so. Perfect. And you have all these little different paths, like. Yep, there's one right in there. Right there. So if you were to jump in here. That one would get you. But there's just a bunch of little lights scattered away in these little corridors and alcoves and little dead ends. And you just have to explore. And I guess that's what I find most interesting about this game was all the exploration. Seeing all the different areas you to go through. And it, of course, was a lot harder. The first time I went through, like, that ritual in the plains, it took me a while, like, four or five tries to get through that. Like, I'm really surprised I managed to do it first time. And I only had two enemies chasing me too, which is unbelievable. Because usually I have at least three, maybe four, four enemies chasing me when I would do that ritual. But, you know, I guess I also got kind of lucky on the numbers because it was a 6 and a 7. And the numbers weren't too far off. One was close, one was far off. I mean, sometimes it's just the luck of the draw with those numbers. See, now that we have the long dash, you can go over there. And go through all that, but... At the end of that, you need three harvest fingers, so you might as well go down here and get the third one before continuing on to those little islands. Boxing. This is one. This is great cloak. Two there. So see, if you didn't get the flashlight, you wouldn't be able to do this. So there's blue cloaks all over the place over here. And that's actually got a door 
right here. That's a light door where you need one harvest finger, I think, to let it down. Or you can open up that one. But you have this blue cloak chasing you, so you gotta get them in the spiral, then dash out, open the doors, and then go through. But I don't need to go over there. Yep, and there's one right here, which if you'd open that door, this blue cloak would have got you. So it's basically a trap. Okay. So this is the other arena. Ooh. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Not what I wanted to do. Oh. Crap. It's alright. I might be able to fix this. That is not what I wanted to do. Uh, you, I saw you turn gold. There we go. Alright. Alright, so this is the waterfall arena. And there's a gray cloak right there. Basically, and there's also a red one down here that guards a switch. And that switch lowers this door. Which, of course, is timed. So you gotta activate the red cloak to let this switch down. Go up the stairs, activate the gray cloak. Then you gotta jump around these red lines, avoiding both the red cloak and the gray cloak. I have never been able to do it. Even with the long... The long dash made it a hell of a lot easier than trying to do it with the short dash. But, uh, yeah, even with the long dash, I was never able to outdo this gray cloak. But if you got the long dash, you don't even need it. You can just go right here and get your finger. See, perfect. Didn't even have to do the ritual. I think that's really cool how the developer put that in there. It's like, if you want to do the ritual, you can. If not, you can just skip it. But the only reason you get to skip it is because uh, you went to the other place and got the long dash first. Right. Activate this. Yeah. So beautiful. You got the waterfall going over. So cool looking. You know, I do want a picture of that because it's a very good picture. Perfect. Little screenshot. See more blue cloaks. Yeah, basically if you didn't have the flashlight, you would have to go through all of this. But because you got the flashlight, you get to kind of skip it. Which, I mean, I already kind of feel like you were meant to skip it because you were meant to get the flashlight. But I can understand how you get turned around. I think we are done here. Yeah. We can go back up.
Yeah, because I don't think there's any more down there. Just a bunch of light and exploring, and that's really about it. Sweet. And then you got the little instructions. Alright. I'm going to end it here for this video. And in the next one, we'll pick it up going through that hot mess over there. You know, it just gets more difficult really from this point forward, but it'll be alright. So, thanks for joining me, and I will see you next time.